Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris from PCAddicts.com and I got a question for you. So it's been a while since I had a virtual machine environment here at the house, uh, mainly because I got a lot of other things going on. Uh, my job has changed at work, so I'm not directly involved with the tech side of things 100% of the time, but here at home with PCAddicts.com, it's time to make a change. I'm getting back into it. I want to create a current server basics video series again uh, with the latest software, the latest versions of Windows, everything as well as doing some follow-up from previous videos and video series because there's been a lot of questions that I've uh, kind of put on the back burner due to a lot of things going on here. So my question to you guys is, I am running OS 10. Before I start setting up this virtual environment, I want to do it the right way. Um, I want to get input from all you guys out there and girls. Uh, as far as what virtual application or virtual machine application you think I should run, here on OS 10, and I'm going to be running Windows Server. I'm going to be running probably some Linux stuff, probably OS 10. Uh, so I don't know if all of them will fit that that requirement, but that's why I'm asking you guys. I've kind of been out of the loop for a while now, and I want to hear some feedback from you. So I put together a quick list of the three that I think I'm going to be choosing from. So <laughs> if you guys can give me your feedback, and of course I know that one of them's free, and I've used it many times in the past. I'm very comfortable with it, but I'm not afraid to pay for software that is going to really help me out and make my life easier and make the experience for you guys as viewers uh, even better. So um, the first option is, of course, a free one, which is VirtualBox here. And um, I've used this for a long, long time. And Bob is getting on my chair. I haven't installed it for a while now, and I don't know if there's issues with the newest versions with OS 10 or any of the latest Windows machines or whatnot. So. Here comes Bob. So the next one's gonna be Parallels. Now, a while back when I first went to OS 10, I started looking at Parallels, I tried it out, I really liked it. It seemed to run fast, my, my virtual machines were great, they were running smooth, um, but I wasn't comfortable with the cost just because I'm so used to um, the open source software, the free software, yada, yada, yada. Maybe you guys have some tips and pointers on the difference between Parallels and VirtualBox, taking the price out of the equation. Then finally we have VMware Fusion and then I've noticed there's a VMware Fusion Pro which just briefly briefly looking at some of the um, different benefits of Pro is the linked clones which I want to do because I don't have infinite hard drive space so um, I do like the linked clones option on both VirtualBox and Parallels. I'd love to hear your guys' input if you're on the site. Feel free to leave a comment under that. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and leave a comment under that. Uh, Facebook, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Twitter, I don't care. Anything. Just I, I need some feedback so I can make an intelligent decision with your guys' help. And then we can start cranking out all these videos again. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.